Recent abductions of little children, the latest a six-year-old girl taken from her home during the early morning hours on Sunday and found wandering the streets near Woodlawn Gardens, has prompted calls for the implementation of Marco's Alert. But Minister of National Security, the Honorable Marvin Dame, says it must be done right. The program was relaunched as a pilot in July of last year, but residents had to sign up to receive them. When asked if that would still be the case, Dame said there will be some changes. The police, they have been working with the, um, with the uh, company, and so all of the changes, I, have, I, have, I haven't been updated as yet. Um, but uh, our objective is to make it as, as, as easy as possible for people to, to use it. Um, and that is, that is the approach, and so we've had these discussions previously, and so I'm certain that at the end of the day, what you can expect uh, is, um, is an alert, is an initiative uh, that, will be, that will be very, very easy to use, easy to apply, and easy to execute. The minister says while everyone would like to see the alert introduced, there is still a process. We would have just completed the testing of the program. You know, there's no sense going out there and buying something and you don't know if it works. Okay, so we would have completed the testing of the program. We would have, uh, we would have ironed out all of the kinks, all of the issues during immediately after the testing phase. We now have a proposal that we will be submitting very shortly and we will be doing that. Listen. It's going to take more than just the Marcos alert to address the issues that we're faced with.